So to get to the data explorer, we go to the new relic main menu and hover over browse data. We can either select events or metrics. Now remember, the logs and traces options are their own separate features at this point in New Relic, so they're not taking you to Data Explorer per se. Anyway, let's start by clicking on events. We can see on the left that it shows me an event type, plot, and dimensions. Each of these translates to the parts of a query that gets run against the New Relic database to get the requested data so we can chart it. So if we want to see what transaction events New Relic is collecting and select the transaction event type, we see on the right side that the from box gets populated. So in New Relic, this tells me that this must be a database table of some kind. The plot immediately gets populated as the attribute that I'm querying for, and I can see my options like count, duration, error, and more. And with dimensions, I can select attributes for how I want to group my data. And you can see that with each change to my search or query, a chart gets updated. I have different options for viewing this chart. I can look at it from a longer time period. So if I want to see this data for the past hour, I can simply update it here. If I want to look at the chart as an area chart instead of a line chart, I can change that here. And as we click on the metrics link, we see that it's basically a similar view. We can search for various metrics that New Relic is collecting, select them, and the data gets added to our chart. And if we like what we see in that chart and want to keep collecting this specific data, we can add it to an existing dashboard we created. Give it a chart name, find the dashboard, and copy.